Let's go. Second unboxing of 2022. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. What's up, guys? International stacker back. Thought I was going to stab it again. Yeah, I'm going to be careful. Two in a row, that's dangerous. Those uh, who are watching, this, uh, yeah, is a Benchmade knife. Um, and then I got some people saying they're anti-2A and all that. I don't know what that's all about. I'll have to look into that. But what I do know is they make fantastic knives. A little bit on the pricey side, but yeah. And look at this. Bang. All right, so let's get into it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this type of silver. Because this type of silver has a little bit of controversy behind it. And if you're one of my live streams, we tend to take a little peek in here. So I retaped it. And uh, now we're going to open it for real here and see what it is. But yeah, there's a little bit of controversy um, sometimes with people about the silver. So I'm going to jump in quick on what this is. Then I'm going to show you some other pieces and kind of talk about this. So what this is, is this is um, from Jaegerport Silver. Now, if you do not know who Silver Slacker is, he is the um, YouTuber who pretty much got me into YouTubing. So I started to stack silver and gold, most, actually mostly silver, and I was watching his videos, and his channel was the biggest at the day. He has 20,000 subscribers, and if he would have done back then what he's done now, he would have over 100,000 subscribers. This guy used to, you guys think I have massive unboxing boxing sometimes, he used to unbox <clears throat> like two, three, four hundred ounces at a time. It was nuts. So check out his channel. But every year he comes out with his own um, silver bars or rounds in collaboration with Jaeger Port Silver, who's really well known in the community. Or has it, oh, it doesn't even say it on here. So these are his uh, pieces from this year. Two four ounces. So that's eight ounces right there. And then the two little one ounce triangles. Triangle? Illuminati? Oh my gosh. But I want to show you guys... Um, Here's a few of his pieces from other years. These are like 2015 and 2016. This little tombstone, this little square, this kind of bigger coffin. But poured silver comes in all different shapes and sizes. And a lot of times poured silver gets kind of a bad rap. Why is that? Because of the cost. So poured silver is very unique. There's a lot of character in it. For guys that don't know this acronym, let's catch you on the next one. I say that at the end of my videos, catch you on the next one, but we're not done yet. Shout out to Justin and their average tacker for doing this for me. But a lot of times that's a question I ask in Goss, so be ready to type that out. <clears throat> but, um, oh, this is another silver slacker piece. This is my favorite, look at that. But poured silver is just amazing. Every piece is different and you can touch it with your hands. As you guys know, like with coin, like actual coins, the stuff that, you know, when it's shiny and fresh and new, you do not want to touch it because the oil on your fingers could go on it and discolor it later in life or its life. But poor. <coughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry, I just freaking choked on something. So you can touch it with your hands. You know, you could be rough with it. That's what poured silver. That's one of the things poured silver is all about. But two, it's the designs and stuff you can do like. I love Game of Thrones and MK Bars, one of the most iconic silver pours, I think, in our, uh, in, in not industry, community. Um, he started out just like you and I, just pouring at home, and it rose to the business he has today, and I hope he's doing well. I put out a video of touring his shop. It only got 900 views, guys. I was like, are you kidding me? It's so epic. Go check that out. But this is the hand of the king. Okay. This is the rat stack made for me at Crab, and my P.O. box is in the description of every video. Just make sure it's a new video, so it's a new P.O. box. But if you want to send me anything, a letter, stickers, whatever, you can. He sent me the Crab, the King Crustacean, which was mega. Um, here's another piece of poured silver. You see, poured silver has so much character to it. But I've told you all the good things. The bad thing is, it's price. <clears throat> a lot of times you're going to be paying through the north nose for poured silver and i just paid a lot for a piece that's coming and i'm actually going to interview that uh, person who sold it to me maybe tonight and when he first got it, he got poured silver and slab pieces and this and that and now he's realizing it's more about the weight 
So what does most of this port silver have in common I'm showing you now? I got it on sale. My strategy is I let the deals dictate my buys. Now, look at this alien. <clears throat> Watching um, Silver Slacker, all like the majority of what he did was uh, port silver. It was amazing. And I'm like, man, I want some port silver. But I waited. And every single piece here you see, except for pretty much the Silver Slacker, but I used a coupon code, I think. Yeah, uh, I got on sale. I got all this stuff on sale. I got deals on everything. These, I got de I got deals on that. The Alien Head, I got a deal. The Englehard, I got a deal. Now, with with poured silver and Englehard, even with the deal, you're still going to pay a, pay a higher premium. But in my experience, the resell on it has been very good if you're willing to hold it. Just like with any type of silver or gold, he or she who is going to win the game is he or she who can hold it. And that's why an emergency fund and being prepared is so important. Because if you have all four tires blow out or a transmission blow out um, <clears throat> or whatever, you have to stay home sick and you don't have sick leave and you miss a day or two of work, you got to have an emergency fund. If you have an emergency fund, which means paper cash, I know for stackers that's hard because we want to put all the cash in this stuff, but you need to have some paper cash. That way, if something bad happens, you tap into the paper. Because if you buy a bunch of silver and gold, especially even poured silver, and then and you immediately need the money back, you're probably going to take a loss. You're probably going to take a bath in it. So always have an emergency fund of cash to deal with that stuff. And part of preparing is having emergency food. Go to preparewithis.com. There's a New Year's sale right now. Remember, it wasn't that long ago where they had a six-month waiting list and they were sold out and people were panicking to buy it. Buy it now while there's no disasters, hopefully, in your area. It's good for 25 years. You put it in a closet, you forget about it. And if you need an, uh, help during an emergency, you're not screaming for food on your roof from FEMA. You're able to support yourself, your family, friends, and maybe even some neighbors. So check it out. Cheapest... Uh, emergency food you're going to find on the net freeze dragged you for 25 years but what do you think do you think stacking silver or poured silver is the folly of many silver stackers am i wrong do you agree with me look at that alien head is that monarch was this monarch precious i don't know do you stack poured silver if so how, what's your strategy? Do you only buy deals like I do? Um, do you want to stack port silver, but you're waiting for the right deal? Or have you not taken that jump yet? Or do you think it's a waste? You're not going to. Look at that. You can shake it. You can touch it with your hands. That's the amazing thing about port silver. And even the same items are unique. There's going to be like little unique differences. And where I really like poured silver is like pirate themed stuff. Like old pirate treasure or coin looking things or doubloons. Because <laughs> it's just in a chest, like different pieces of metals or a box. And it reminds you of finding like a, a treasure chest from back in the day. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked it. I really encourage you, if you want to see some epic unboxings, go check out Silver Slacker. And look at some of his <laughs> amazing, dare I say, mega, mega ga? Dare I say mega unboxings, like he really killed it. Lately, he's put out a few videos. Um, he's not really buying that much anymore. So it'll be like a couple of the new pieces or this or that. But like, go and look back at some of his epic stuff. And I'm telling you, if he would have done back then what he did, if he would do today what he did back then, he would easily have 100,000 subscribers. So thank you, Silver Slack, if you're watching. You got me into YouTube. I was stacking, but he made me realize, huh, maybe I should put my stacking adventure out there. And I did. And shout out to all of you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm, guys. My channel's taken a beating lately. I used to get a bunch more views, but you know I had to slow down during the bear flu because I was actually trying to help society. Um, and I'm trying to get back on the good graces of the algorithm. So every interaction you do with any of my videos, a like, a comment, subscribe, whatever is beneficial to me. So thank you for all the ones that have been doing it. And what do I want for Christmas? Just a like. It doesn't cost you anything but a click. Maybe like a tenth of a calorie. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. I've got some really cool content coming in the future, including that interview. And I guess I'll say...
Inglehard. No, that's not what I said. I say, catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker on a journey.